hold up a mirror to the city of Los Angeles and what is reflected? A place where innovation thrives, where opportunity abounds and intellect expands, where creativity produces new visions, where compassion heals, where science and technology drive progress. Hold up a mirror to the city and what is reflected? A place that embraces all people. Where we transform lives with each step up the ladder of prosperity. Where we energize communities, where we reinvigorate our region and shape the future of our city, our state, and our nation. Hold up a mirror to the city and what do you see? Cal State LA. We are LA. Join us as we soar to greater heights. Cal State LA ranked number one in the nation for upward mobility. Welcome to the California State University, Los Angeles Commencement Ceremony for the College of Arts and Letters. Thank you for joining us as we celebrate the achievements of our graduates during the 75th anniversary of the university. Will the class of 2022 please rise to be acknowledged by your family and friends. Now, will everyone please rise for the academic procession of the faculty and platform party.
Everyone, please remain standing for the national anthem. Good morning, and please let me start by saying congratulations to the class of 22. Yeah! Oh, what an achievement, what an accomplishment. If you will please join me for a moment of silence. Uh, if we could please be seated. And if you could please join us for a moment of silence for the 21 victims of the mass shooting Tuesday in Texas. Our hearts are with the families of the school children and teachers who were killed and with the entire community of Uvalde. Thank you. And now, to the business of graduation. All right. So, uh, please allow me to welcome you. Okay. So, again, welcome. Good morning to our students, graduates, honored family members, and friends. I'm Lena Chow, the Dean of the College of Arts and Letters. I will say the best college in the university, of course, yes. <laughs> sorry, sorry, okay. <laughs> and welcome to our 2022 commencement ceremony. With great respect, Cal CLA acknowledges the Tavanga people as the traditional caretakers of the Tavanga, the Tongvanga world, including the Los Angeles Basin, South Channel Islands, San Gabriel and Pomona Valleys and portions of Orange, San Bernardino, and Riverside counties. Cal CLA is located within these lands, and as an institution located on unceded Vonga land, we pay our respects to the ancestors, elders, and their relatives' relations, past, present, and emerging. 
Consistent with our values of community and diversity, we have the responsibility to acknowledge and make visible the university's relationship to Native peoples by offering this land acknowledgement we affirm Indigenous sovereignty and will work to hold Calstale LA more accountable to the needs of American Native peoples. Thank you. <laughs> to our graduates, over the course of your academic career in the College of Arts and Letters, our faculty, administration, and staff have focused their expertise on your success. They have become your mentors, and for many of you, your colleagues. And I can speak from experience that the reason we are here, after being here for 25 years or more, as a faculty member, we are here because of you. You are our source of inspiration, and we are grateful that you have chosen to let us be part of your academic journey. So at this time, I would like to acknowledge and thank the chair of the Academic Senate, Dr. Talia Betcher, members of the faculty, emeriti faculty, staff, and the administration for assisting our students to excel and achieve their goals. And will these members of the university community please stand and be recognized. Thank you, and if you could kindly be seated. And now, President Covino. Okay, all right, if you say so. Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are, this is it. Congratulations, class of 2022. <laughs> this is your time to shine. Uh, this is your, I can feel the sort of glow, I can feel the energy, it's, it's, all, it's all here. And, uh, and your family and friends sitting around us are adding to all of that. It's so wonderful to have you all with us. I want to give another shout out to the people who wake up every day uh, thinking about and working toward your success, who have seen you along on this journey and who have educated you uh, to be prepared for great challenges and great successes as you go forth from this degree. And I mean uh, the great faculty of the greatest college in the university, the faculty of the College of Arts and Letters. Would you please let us thank you one more time? Stand for us, let us thank you one more time. We have a number of uh, university officials and uh, special guests on the stage today. We are very pleased to have with us to present two honorary degrees today, the chair of the CSU Board of Trustees, Wenda Fong, is here with us today. And we have uh, two honorary degree recipients whom you will meet in the course of the ceremony, uh, acclaimed uh, playwright David Henry Huang and Dodgers announcer Jaime Harin. Uh, along with us on the stage, of course, we have our Academic Senate Chair, Dr. Talia Betcher. The Acting Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs. Academic Affairs oversees all of the academic programs in the university, Dr. Amy Bippus. <laughs> Associate Dean of Arts and Letters, Catherine Weiss. The associate deans always get the most applause <laughs> because they're right there working with you to get you, get you to today, right? The Dean of Undergraduate Studies, Dr. Michelle Hawley. Yeah. 
And the uh, dean of the library, we love the library. The library is full and is vibrant and is terrific. The dean is Carlos Rodriguez. We're also joined by the vice president for administration and finance. She gives out all the money and manages it so very, very well and is an alum of Cal State LA, Dr. Joyce Williams. <laughs> and the vice president with the longest title, the vice president for diversity, equity, inclusion, and student life, Dr. Octavio Viapondo. And this next person is the one who raises all the money for your scholarships, the Vice President for University Advancement, Robert Avalos. Watch out for Robert if you see him outside. He's going to want you to write him a check. All right. So this is a special time in your life, right? What's, what an understatement. As, you're, as you prepared for graduation, I imagine you, uh, you heard some of the usual questions. These are the questions that you usually hear from parents and family. Questions like, so what next? What next? What are you going to do with yourself? What, what happens after graduation? And there are about 5,500 different answers to that question corresponding with the 5,500 students who are graduating this week. But I want to pose a little bit of a different question this morning. Uh, the question is uh, more global, more cosmic, more, uh, more relevant, I think. Today, who are you? Who are you? Right? During your time here, you've certainly learned a great deal about uh, the uh, disciplines that are so vibrant and wonderful in the College of Arts and Letters, and you've equipped yourself with that information and those skills to go out and do great things. But you've also learned about the larger world, which has been tumultuous, and uh, about uh, different kinds of people uh, from walks of life and from backgrounds and uh, with points of view that were new to you and uh, you've integrated you know, your identities with theirs and uh, created some new synergies and friendships that I hope will last a lifetime. So what you've learned through your experiences with your friends and the faculty and the staff here at Cal State LA have changed you, right? Over time, you've become different than the person you were uh, when you came here years ago. You've developed a capacity, a strong capacity, to shape your own destiny and to have a positive impact on the life of your family and your community. That has grown, you have grown in that way. And as I look out on all of you, I know that there's no limit to what you can do in the world. That's what it means to be a golden eagle. You follow in the footsteps of amazing Cal State LA alumni who once sat where you sit today. Today, you will join the ranks of more than 245,000 Cal State LA alumni and more than 3 million alumni of the California State University system. Our outstanding alumni include tennis le legend Billie Jean King, Maxine Waters, our wonderful congressperson, Congresswoman Lucille Roybal Allard, astronaut Samuel Durance, Sumanta Paul, the director of the Kidney Cancer Program and Med Medical Oncology at City of Hope Hospital. Terrence Roberts, one of the Little Rock Nine who desegregated Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas in 1957. 
Emmy-winning casting director and producer Carmen Cuba from this college. The members of the family that owns Gavinia Coffee and, and, wait for it, the members of the family that owns Porto's Bakery. I always save Porto's, you know? I know that Porto's is gonna get a rush. I don't know if there's a Porto's discount this week for Cal State LA alums. You're gonna have to check with them. Don't tell them that I sent you, but. So, you're also graduating during Cal State LA's 75th anniversary. Our first big year, big year for us. Our first class graduated in 1948, small handful of folks, and since then, many generations of students have, fa have faced the same questions that you're facing today. You're graduating at a time when the world has seen huge changes in a very short period. Think of how much the world has changed over the last two years alone. Think of how technology has altered the most basic aspects of our lives, even how we communicate instantly in time and space with one another. We live in a society that's always looking for the next big thing, the newest iPhone, self-driving car, a ride on a rocket into space. All these things have become big things ju just since you've come to Cal State LA. But let me tell you, class of 2022, if you are looking for the next big thing, just take a look in the mirror. It's you, it's you. You are what we need right now. Golden Eagles are a force for good, and the world needs you. You had the foresight to step out onto a difficult path toward a degree. You had the courage to keep going when things got tough. You had the heart to plan a career for yourself that would help your family and serve your community. You had the wisdom to know that it would all pay off in the end, and it has. You're sitting right here, ready to cross the commencement stage today. Now, on the way to becoming the person that you are, you've had help. Those who love and support you helped you achieve this goal. In that spirit, I'd like to ask all of the mothers and the fathers, all the parents to please stand and let us thank you. Now, you stay standing, stay standing. Let's add the grandmothers and grandparents. Grandmothers and grandparents. Grandmothers and grandfathers. Aunts and uncles. Sisters and brothers. Nieces and nephews. Cousins, spouses, partners, children and all the friends of the class of 2022. Thank you all, thank you all. You've done so much to get us to this point and we're so very grateful. And I promise that your student will buy you lunch or dinner one of these days. Remember, I promised them that, I promised them. The class of 2022 also includes 88 veterans who have served our nation.
and who have returned to get a Cal State LA degree. I'd like to ask all the veterans and active duty military with us today, among our graduates and among our family and friends, all the veterans and active duty military to please stand and let us thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your service. So Golden Eagles, whatever comes next for you, whatever career you've chosen or business you'll, you'll start or research you'll conduct or arts that you will perform, it begins with who you are now. You'll build on the great success that we're celebrating today. And as you go out into the world, I want you to remember that greatness is a part of your identity. Those same attributes that allowed you to fulfill this goal will serve you for the rest of your life. If we could, we'd all like to see into the future to know exactly what will happen, but we can't do that. However, I can predict it, I can predict it with a great deal of confidence because class of 2022, you are graduating from Cal State LA, the university ranked number one in the United States for the upward mobility of our students. And this was, this was uh, a project that has been repeated again and again uh, of deep and weighty research. Over a period of years, uh, the researchers followed 30 million students from 3,000 different universities from the time they got into their university to the time they started their careers, and they asked the question, which university provides the most access to students and sends those students into the top 20% of wage earners after they graduate. They tested this again and again, and every time they did it, 2017, beyond 2017, another reiteration of the project just uh, two months ago, the answer was the same every time, number one, Cal State LA, you are number one. So, always remember this day, always remember Cal State LA, always remember especially that you are resilient and powerful and caring and well-educated and able to contribute to the goodness of the world. You are golden eagles, and you will soar. Congratulations. You like having that screen there, huh? Yeah, I can tell. So we've come to another special, uh, a special part of today's commencement. On the recommendation of the California State University Board of Trustees, David Henry Huang has been selected to receive an honorary doctoral degree. And here to present Mr. Huang with the honorary degree is California State University Chair of the Board of Trustees, Wenda Fong. Thank you, and hello and congratulations to the class of 2022. <laughs> it is my true pleasure to introduce to you our first recipient of the honorary doctorate degree. David Henry Wong is America's preeminent Asian American playwright. He 
Yes. <laughs> he is a Tony Award winner for his work, M. Butterfly, and a three-time Tony Award nominee, a three-time Obie Award winner, a Grammy Award winner and two-time nominee, and a three-time finalist for the Pulitzer Prize in Drama. He is also the most produced American opera librettist. From 2015 to 2019, he worked as a writer consulting producer for the Golden Globe winning television series, The Affair. Born to immigrant Chinese parents, Mr. Wong is the eldest sibling and the only son. He was raised here in Los Angeles and later attended Stanford University, where he produced his first award-winning play. Mr. Wong then attended the Yale School of Drama, where he wrote two plays rooted in distinct Asian genres. The majority of his work features an Asian or Asian-American aspect. He has adapted numerous award-winning librettos for opera, as well as collaborated with some of the most renowned composers. He is active in various organizations that support the arts and Asian-American Pacific Islander communities. He has been a vocal and committed advocate for diversity, equity, and representation. <laughs> Mr. Wong sits on the boards of the Dramatists Guild and the American Theatre Wing, founder of the Tony Awards, where he served as its chair. Since 2014, he has been the head of playwriting at the Columbia University School of the Arts. From 1994 to 2001, he served by appointment of President Bill Clinton on the President's Committee on the Arts and Humanities. In recognition for his creative work on Asian ethnicity and identity, his multifaceted award-winning talents, and his generous involvement in support of the arts, the Board of Trustees of the California State University and the California State University Los Angeles are proud to confer upon David Henry Wong the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts. Please join me in welcoming David Henry Wong. <laughs> Wendy, you can come back up again. We're going to have you help. By the authority vested in me, I confer upon David Henry Huang the honorary degree of Doctor of Fine Arts with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. It is an ancient custom to invest those who receive academic degrees with hoods that designate the degree earned. So, Wenda and I are going to do this together. David. Thank you. Let me make sure I get this right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. It's all yours. Wow, thank you so much for that warm and very flattering introduction. Um, I grew up with uh, Asian immigrant parents, so we weren't really all that big on compliments. Um, we were more supposed to be like, no, no, I'm terrible. Um, so an introduction like this is uh, sort of painfully wonderful. Um, I'm, uh, I'm very moved by the gift and the honor and the charge to rise to this occasion. The class of 2022, you are without a doubt one of the most, if not the most, extraordinary cohorts in history. You went to college during the worst global health crisis in a century. Along with your professors, 
and your administrators, you literally invented, reinvented teaching and learning. When you started here, Zoom was maybe the sound of a race car. You probably never expected to see the insides of your professors' homes, <laughs> nor watch their cats slink across their desks. <laughs> and too many of you had to learn while saying painful goodbyes to your friends, your relatives, your loved ones, and I'm so sorry for all your losses. On top of that, you faced new crises and opportunities to redefine our nation and our roles in it. You faced the challenge to confront America's legacy of anti-blackness and anti-brownness. As as well as the resurgence of anti-AAPI hate and attacks, also a recurring feature of this country's history. In the face of so many challenges, so much trauma, what did you do? You're graduating today. To paraphrase the great Broadway composer Stephen Sondheim, you're still here. And to paraphrase the great disco queen Gloria Gaynor, you have survived. Not only survived, you've succeeded with courage, perseverance, creativity, flexibility, strength, and grace. In a world which will continue to face enormous challenges. You've arguably received the education you will need, acquiring the nimbleness, fortitude, and creativity to su succeed in solving the problems of your day. What's more, the overwhelming majority of you are black, indigenous, and people of color. A along with our white friends, partners, and allies. Over half of you grew up in families where your parents didn't have the opportunity to attend college, and many of us are immigrants or the children of immigrants. When my immigrant parents tried to buy a home in the 1950s, not far from here, they were turned down because they were Chinese. What was the name of the town where they were excluded? Monterey Park. <laughs> so clearly, people fought for change because today Monterey Park, as well as San Gabriel, where I did end up growing up, are among LA's great suburban Chinatowns because people raised their voices. As a child of immigrants, I didn't end up going, uh, grow up going to theater. I saw some plays in college and thought, oh, maybe I can do that. Two great American playwrights taught me to write from my subconscious, not to censor myself, just to say whatever I felt I wanted to say. So I started writing about my parents, about immigration, about becoming an American, about trying to find my identity, assimilation, racism, I found my voice. Now people, particularly other Asians, often ask, so how do your parents feel when you decide to become a playwright? <laughs> okay, my senior year, I wrote this play, which Wenda referred to, um, called FOB, it's not the TV show. Um, uh, and I wrote it to be performed in the lounge of my dorm. So my father said to my mother, okay, let's go see this play. And if it's good, we'll encourage him. And if it's bad, we'll tell him to stop. <laughs> and at the end of the performance, I looked over at my father and there were tears streaming down his face. Maybe because I had told some of our stories 
maybe because he had begun to hear his own voice. By the way, payback arrived when I became a father, and my son said to me, I want to play football. <laughs> uh, he was a kicker, which is a relatively safe position. Uh, so he became a college kicker, and I became a football dad. But let's take a moment to show our appreciation to all the parents and family members and friends here today who stepped out of their comfort zones so these graduates could find their voices and follow their dreams. Thank you so much. So just a little over a year after my father watched my dorm play, that same play, FOB, got uh, produced uh, professionally at one of New York's most prestigious venues, the Public Theater. So how did that happen? I got my opportunity because in New York, a white actor had been cast again in an Asian role. And American theater and film has a long history of blackface, white actors playing black parts, um, as well as brown face, red face, and yes, yellow face. Well, this time the Asian American actors of that day decided they'd had enough. They protested. And the most important producer of his day, Joseph Papp, listened. And he decided to find plays for Asian actors. And it was just about the time that my dorm play came across their desk. So I am the beneficiary of affirmative action. Because that's what affirmative action is, right? It identifies a social need, then creates a program to give a helping hand to folks who need one. A door opened and I got to walk through, all thanks to a small group of brave actors who raised their voices. Now, of course, it's not only artists, actors, writers who need to raise their voices. You all are graduating today in your chosen fields. You will work in criminal justice, in child development, in business, and social work. You will be sociologists, biologists, computer scientists, and artists, and so much more. Each of these professions needs your skills, your talents, your unique perspectives. They need your voice because you stand at a transformative moment in our nation's history. BIPOC Americans will become this country's majority in less than two decades. It's already, <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> um, it's already been a reality here in California for some time and certainly visible here in this graduating class. But we also have to guard against those who wish to stop that future who are scared, angry, and resentful, who scapegoat people of color and immigrants, who attack and condemn LGBTQ plus Americans, who seek to turn back the clock on the reproductive rights of women, who push divisive and hateful ideas like the great replacement theory. Looking out today, we see the future of this country a diverse community of BIPOC and white allies working and thriving together. America is not being replaced. America is being renewed. So as you enter your chosen field, represent, raise your voices, be loud, be proud, because the very thing that makes you unique, different, idiosyncratic, even weird, that is your superpower. When history books are written, future generations are going to remember this time. When many of you have children or grandchildren, you will tell them about this day, May 26, 2022, 
when I walked across that stage and I got my diploma. Let's do it. Thank you and congratulations. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was an incredibly moving, powerful speech. And thank you for that. And congratulations, Dr. Wong. <laughs> Oops, let me, okay, let me catch up here. Um, all righty, so now comes the time, okay. Uh, yeah, we've got some serious star power on this platform, don't we? My goodness, Dr. Wong and soon to be Dr. Jaime Harin, yes. So, um, now, I'd like to introduce, for the starting with the graduates, okay, the graduate students. Among the students earning baccalaureate degrees at the College of Arts and Letters, those who will graduate with honors and academic honors are Associate Dean, Dr. Catherine Weiss, my partner in crime, um, is going to acknowledge these students. Okay, please, Dr. Weiss. Good morning and congratulations. The university grants the baccalaureate degree with Latin distinctions summa cum laude, magna cum laude, and cum laude to students who maintain an outstanding academic record while earning their degrees. These students wear gold braids draped on their black gowns to mark their outstanding academic accomplishments. Will the candidates for graduation with honors from the College of Arts and Letters please rise and be recognized? Thank you. Please be seated. Oh. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. President Covino, I present to you the candidates for degrees in the College of Arts and Letters. They have met all the requirements for their respective degrees and are recommended by the university faculty who taught them. Okay, and now, will the recipients for the Master of Arts and Master of Fine Arts from the College of Arts and Letters, uh, will actually will now be hooded on stage. Will the staff marshals please lead the graduates to the stage? with a Master of Art in Art, Miranda Inés Rivera. Jennifer Anguiano. Sarah Samantha Salcido. Alegria Garcia.
Gabriel Ávila. With a Master of Arts in Communication Studies, Joanna Aguayo. Russia Hanush. Tarana Tabatabai. Lada Castillo. Emeline Vitor Beltran. Valentina Grassi. Sochi Haragi. Jonathan Patrick Gillette. Jeffrey Michael Stein. <laughs> Michaela Marie Holzinger. Joanna Randall. With a Master of Arts in English, Zydell Robles. Angelina Gonzalez. Corrine Sapur Love. Ashin Panyadipa. Justin Rudy Gomez.
Ian Alexander Lear Flores. Casey Scott Kesnick. Skyler Kane Ferguson. Liza Taya Castillo. Amy Nicole Robb. Brianna Giraldo. Sandra Wenceslau. Lara Veronica Kisling. With a Master of Arts in Philosophy, Dylan Sean Timothy Mackesy. Sabrina and Perzada. With a Master of Arts in Spanish, Rebecca Greenberg. With the Master of Arts in Television, Film, and Media Studies, Melanie Dobson. Marcos Antonio Corrales. Natalie Levine. Montserrat Rodriguez Ortiz. Claudia Delgado. With a Master of Fine Arts in Art, Rebecca Suzanne Albrecht. Elizabeth Sweeney.
with a Master of Music in Music, Leah Grace Donovan Jones. Melissa Aguilar. Sarah Martin. Christopher O. Ornelas. Jennifer Caroline T.C. Yan Shen. Eric Sanchez. Emma Jolene Schopler. Jacqueline Page. Mikey Yekosala Tayoba. Andrew Mason Goodlow. AJ Roberts. Robert Scott Marshall the second. Keita Katsumi. Congratulations to all our master's students. Con oh, what an accomplishment. What a day. <laughs> yes. And of course, to all our honor students. I know in the dean's office, we've been busy with all of you picking up your cords lately. So now is the time we'd like to convert, actually, for the undergraduates. So will the candidates, yes. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Letters please come up stage? They're going to be presented on stage. All righty. Brittany Jimenez. Justin Abril. Noah Edward Donnelly. Deirdre Monsi. Christian Anthony Polo. Ricardo Jimenez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Chinese, Paul Ramirez. Kai Vin Luong. Ains Hamuan Achiraya. Martin Corona. With a Bachelor of Arts in French, Pierre Epo.
with a Bachelor of Arts in Japanese, Esmeralda Nieves. Cindy Rocío Romero. With a Bachelor of Arts in Spanish, Brando González Quiroz. Giovanni Ramos López. Janet America Sanchez. Tito Eric Ramirez Martinez. Catherine Michelle Rodriguez Ramirez. Jason Cabrera. Maricela Romo. Maria R. Zapata. Norma Hilda Rivera Caetano. Ana Elizabeth Chavez. Leticia C. Gonzalez. Alexander Flores Perez. Lindy Lizette Robles Rivero. Baltasar Eduardo Mitávila Urrutia. Minor Obdulio Cabrera Molina. Edwin Mancera. Joel Michael Shapiro. Evelyn Castro. Clarissa Vasquez. Eileen Aranda Calixto. With a Bachelor of Arts in English, Jocelyn Fuentes. Miriam Kateri Pacheco. Maisha Lea Miranda Atwell. Nadia Martinez. Isabel Acedo. Samantha Silva. Anastasia Elena Tali. Ariana Rosales. Armando L. Smith. Eric Ramirez. Jairo Aguila Rosas. David Cyrus Lugo. Marisol Guerrero. Ubaldo Chan. Andres Flores Romero. Kimberly Cole. Amanda Rogers. Michael David Thomas Smith. Isaac David Ortiz. Alejandro Villarreal. Ariel L. Miranda. Manuel Ruiz. Luis Zepeda. Juan Pablo Lopez. Ana Laura Lopez. Natalia Alana Montes. Tabitha Joanne Gonzalez Mansur. Brianna Marie Davila. Blanca Aurora Godinez. Jennifer Tina Ann Quintero. Joanna Martina Rodriguez. America Guadalupe Mata. Cassandra Sofia Steglau. Steven Botello Rivera. Kimberly Gomez. Marlon Harris. 
Ernesto Ochoa Chocobo. Jacqueline Mercedes Martínez. Susana Sánchez. Shayna Nicole López. Michael Puente. Kayla Naomi Bazurto. Gino Radio. Evan Hill. Angelica Luisa Soto. Lady Jasmine Navarrete. Isaac Anthony Moreno. Miguel Angel Paez. Brian Montes. Sydney Rios. Joanna Denise Jimenez. Kayla Brianne Gallagher. Catherine Alejandra Lara. Reyes Gama. Daisy Ruiz Catalan. Rebecca Nicole Gonzalez. Jennifer Catherine Lopez. Paulina Roa. Elia Alegria. Ray Castillo. Nayeli Andrea Payan. Carla Alcántara. Surly Tawusi. With a Bachelor of Arts in Journalism, Stephanie Maria Medina. Nicholas Jacob Juarez. Ronald Ivan Cruz Orellana. Genesis Denise Gonzalez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Philosophy, Marisol Garcia. Mariana Amelia Torres. Kennedy K. Olea. Moses Gomez. Tommy Ray Leon. Seth Cruz. Joshua Amador Solis. Jonathan Cabello. Gabriel H. Estrada. Joseph Matthew Estrella. Barkev Kevin Gevoglanian. Lourdes Lindy Ambion. Norman Lay. With a Bachelor of Arts in Liberal Studies, Rihanna Siri. Arlene Contreras. Paula Gabriela Pulido. America Rosa Isela Preciado Sanchez. Jessica Garcia. Thank Joanne Graves. Penelope Morris. Marcos Martin Carranza. Monica Vanessa Lopez. Esmeralda Moreno Islas. Kathleen McCarthy. Jack 
Michael and Jasmine Trujillo. Ricardo Maldonado. Cindy Michelle Vargas. Andrea Nicole Cabrera. Barbarita Briseño. Trevor Lloyd Thompson. Jose Manuel Reyes Jr. Raisa Jasmine Quintana. Zoe Marie Alvarez. Daisy Michelle Aceves Salazar. Nayeli Gonzalez. Elizabeth Leon Lopez. Marlene Macias. Amanda Rivera. Diana Zaragoza Castillo. Saul Ivan Sanchez. Valerie Wind Flores. Johanna Bodurian. Paulina Marie Loa. Amanda Nicole Hernandez. Guadalupe Hernandez. Sebastian Maximiliano Martinez. Alice Rachel Garcia. Paige Klingerman. Israel Garcia. Tanya Lisbeth Flores. Crystal Anaí Castañeda. Melissa Yvette Martinez Lopez. Daisy Gallegos. Maria del Rosario Martinez de Cruz. Bonnie Mescu. Christian Michael Longoria. Douglas Anthony Dickinson. Jeffrey De Leon. Christopher Moreno. Genesis Gomez. Conrad Aldair Viera. Esmeralda Leal Cruz. Tiffany Christine Gomez. Emily H. Diep. Alejandra Lopez. Cindy Desiree Molina. Salma Ashbai Zamora. Giselle Daniela Gamboa. Vivian Andrea Lopez. Brandon Alejandro Sanchez. Carlos Abraham Chavez. Christopher Alexander Medina. Joseph Angel Velado. Huri Derman John. Liliana De Leon. Jennifer Diana Benitez Portillo. Beatriz Serrano. Alina Ginetli Ruiz. Jennifer Sanchez. Helen Muro Cabral. 
Raquel Rose Vasquez. Devin Norel Mejia. Verónica del Carmen Granados. Jennifer Caitlin Hart. Gabriela Lopez. Jessica Ross Schiff. Avery Reiku Horiuchi. Emily A. Clark. Luis Hernandez III. With a Bachelor of Arts in Women's Gender and Sexuality Studies, Dexter Ivory Vasquez. Priscila Palato. Maribel Rosas. Emily Gabriela Gonzalez. Selena Alexis Flores. Chris Del Magno Aguila. Yanira Tapia. Dalia Carmona. Jasmine Carolyn Ramirez. Ana Noemi Sanchez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Communication, Malaysia Renee Giles Wagner. Maria Guadalupe Lopez Cruz. Armani Taylor Thomas. William E. Martinez. Rafael A. Ramirez. Ashlyn Caratachea. Annika Blythe Hiron. Melissa Marie Santos. Aya Abdul Kadir Hassan. Alyssa Amber Chavez. Samantha Elise Barreto. Caitlin Sage Jimenez. Justina Hack. Wendy Vu. Mercedes Hernandez Mendoza. Gretel Miley Quiroz. Nicholas Salgado. Joseph Briard Henderson. Sulema Suhe Acuna. Linda Chiang. Shunam Garcia. Sandra Diane Alvarez. Vivian C. Lynn. Kiana Marie Martin. Quelnick Hoff Ben. Tyson Dewan. Risala Rose Aminifu. Justin Hong. Jason Keaton. Gerardo David Tavares. Miguel Antonio Diaz. Raymond Christian Brown. Carrie Elaine Worth. Andrea Marquez. 
Cindy A. Macias. William M. Bremsilapa. Alexis Cari Guzman. Karen Marisol Barrera. Brianna C. Robinson. Natalie Alia Reynoso. Eric Ariza Jr. Jessica Rosales Hernandez. Daisy Paola Presa. Giovanni Gonzalez Almeida. Shelby May Grubbs. Jada Johnson. Victoria Adriana Miranda. Alejandra Ramos. Parker Phillips Allen. Mirka Celeste Guzmán García. Siana Mireya Posada. Philip Etres. Salvador Sanchez. Angel Steven Medina. Marilyn Pilar Pascual. Marissa Janice Moore. Nadia Paula Orellana. Angelica Danielle Verdugo. Alyssa Celine Santano. Cole Thomas Garrett. Elsa Boza Roncal. Ayana Ramirez. Cass Duran. Josephine Maria Garcia. Alina Grace Murillo. Jenny Touch. Salam Faris. Leslie Anubis Saron. Amber Janet Frescas. Kimberly Hernandez. Vanessa Fabian. John Anthony Martinez. Irene Hernandez Delgado. Monique Daniel Rafaela Alcala. Susana Cubias. Alexander Nathaniel Holden. Daisha Nate Wallace. Maria Fernanda Manriquez. Claudia Navarro. Marilyn Lisette Nieto. Valeria Avila. Ana Rodriguez. Andrea Dolores Castillo. Brianna Caitlin Guerra. Andrea Resendiz. Luna Luna. Jade Orozco. Steve Rodolfo Salgado. Tatiana Zaira Torres. Naja Iman Calfani. 
Vanessa Renee Washington. Nancy Aurora Campos. Erica Renee Conchola. Jonathan Alexander Davila. Zaina Abdul Kader. Yi Win. Xavier Blanco. Cassandra Lisbeth Navarrete. Bernice Alvarez. Andrea Alicia Morales. Jonathan Austin Clark. Cynthia Pathamabon. Marisol Alamio Cortez. Steven Hong. Angel Sarkisova. Gabriela Hernandez. Jacqueline Sebastiana Ordones. Zad Rahman. Sandra Paola Fernandez Diaz. Viviana Azarel Carranza. A John Fuller. Montserrat Varela. Richard Mayorga. Alex Adrián Dobles Montenegro. Kevin Salim. Noah Davico. Marie Dean. Melvin Rucker Schantz III. Adrian Isaac Huerta. Olivia Anderson. Juan Carlos Romero. Joshua Felix Martinez. Andrew Ezekiel Martinez. Jessica Lopez. Alejandro Ambriz. Jesse Zarco. Celeste Silva. Elvis Garcia. Ari Lee Alexis Shai Shen Kuo. Ka Yi Poon. Diana Monica Duron. Brenda Carolina Duron. Ruby Rodriguez. Crystal Rodriguez. Valerie Ruiz Alfaro. Jose Ivan Vasquez. Luis Alberto Chica. Joshua Q. Belmore. Laurence Claude Dunbar. Elizabeth Gonzalez. 
Randy Jasmine Zaragoza. Mariana Miranda Rubalcaba. Karina Segura Campos. Rosario Yaneli Mora. Dariana Lopez. Karen Guadalupe Reynoso. Tiffany Pham. Jessica Santiago. Jonathan Richard Tapia. Richard who? Shintian Zhang. Rachel Nicole Featherstone. Megan Elizabeth Domingo. Rana Rosie. Alejandra Villanueva. Tate Andrew Castro. Lucy Hennen. Jennifer Acosta Cervantes. Charlzetta Williams. Carla Saraí Osorio. Lourdes Consuelo Vialpondo. Mabel Dominique Trio. Michaela Breline Harris. Elena Amber Espadas. Naya Benay Tumez. Brandon Martinez. Cesar Augusto Oliva. Octavio Manuel Barroso. Danielle Freevert. Samuel Nathaniel Brown. Alyssa Elena Mejia. Ashley Marie Jameo. Jessica Juarez. Kenya Alvarez. Jason Banks. Victor Lara. Kayleen Desiree Lacayo. Karen Tran. Hunter Gianna Mori. Daniel Andrew Hernandez. Kaylin M. McFadden. Exenia Brianna Franklin. Vanessa Marie Avalos. Jessica Carillo. Giselle Lisbeth Florian. Jamie Nicole Smith. Daniela Mary Rodriguez. Andrea Edwards. Uchena Olive Mbata. Jasmine Rivera. Kayla Ziomara Benitez. Accepting the degree posthumously for the Bachelor of Arts in Communication of the parents of graduate Evelyn Guadalupe Salas Mendoza.
with a Bachelor of Arts in Art, Sarah Keiko Ujiri. Elizabeth Guadalupe Funes. Cindy Nguyen. Brenda Ledesma Saldivar. Imani Juanita Muhammad. Alec Ellis. Alan Muratian. Kaylee Marie Clark. Alejandro G. Perez. Eduardo Romero. Vivian Butt. Amanda Yolaine Wong. Carlos Eduardo Machik King. Andy Alexander Padilla. Ulises Eduardo Alegria. Christina Eugen Chu. Not Megaforian. Nicole Mendoza. Lizette Carolina Sanchez. Ricardo Romero. Jessica Yesenia Garcia Rafael. Alexis Jose Medina. Fernando Marti Correna. Joanna Berenice Ventura. Janet Angelica Lopez. Samantha Ontiveros. Jonathan Emmanuel Valdivia. Melquiades Lee Vega Jr. Ana Lilia de Santiago. Cecilia Tenorio. Alex Mendoza. Jesus Sanchez. Mark Camille Saikali. Jason Batongbakal. Hazel Servin. Christina Ruiz. Allison Nicole Bugev. Risa Corona. Jose Luis Moreno Plancarte. Samantha Aguilar. Sergio Mora. Karina Salas. Ashley Jasmine Pascual Benitez. Emily Martinez. Eric Kolok. Deja Divine King. Natalie Nicole Carrasco. Gabriel Lascano. Albert Trin. Jose Luis Marquez. Valeria Rivera. Raymil Mayola Giron. Javier Medrano. Ricardo Martinez. Julio Cesar Mendoza. 
Uni Nam Lam. Yu Jia Yang. Ariel Josephine Suarez. Alice Lam. Nathaniel Josiah Trias. Karen Bernice Herman Onate. Sofia Sveshnikova. Jessica Lizette Morales. Juan Fernando Atertura. Michael John Lopez. Megan Alyssa Corral. Anthony Rafael Rivera. Olavo Multini. Gabriela Celeste Dillard. Gloria Ortega. Savannah Emily Lopez. Rebecca Denise Netch. Rachel McGinn. Matthew Perez. Amber Solis. Sabrina Annette Real. Larissa Martinez. Iliana Isaiah. Luke Chen. Steve W. Mahano. Anthony Steve Gorola. Ari Kimberly Vasquez. Therese Kathleen Juarez Rubio. Pamela Yvette Holt Lopez Hiron. Bridget Claire Langto. Hillary Torres. Robert Allen Brady. Epraxia Voskanian. Christian Anthony Martinez. Brandon Stephen Rivas. Yu Ting Fu. Ruby Serrano. Litsi Yareli Perez. Brianna Guadalupe Flores. Jorge Gallegos Asensio. Bianca Vanessa Lemus. Celestina Rodriguez. Ricardo Padilla. Ana Mercedes Martinez. Daniel Aminero. Jason Allen Mitchell. Jesus Francisco Palacios. Adrian Martin Gomez Hernandez. Cyrus Ethan Flores Rodriguez. Liza Mendoza. Natalie Arcos. Andrea Sharp Aguilar. Alexia Figueroa. Jonathan Julio Gutierrez. Mandy J. Wu. Alexandra Escamilla. Miriam Paredes. 
Valerie Diaz Ruiz. Silvia Padilla. Caroline Chen. Brenda Camarena. Alexis Brienne Estrada. Jonathan Hassan Hernandez. Sarah Elizabeth Lopez. Kathleen Jeanette Cruz Carcoba. Serena Esparza Santa Maria. Andrea Josefine Aviles. Maribel Chavez. Lauren Ann Peterson. Victor Martinez. Cristal Murillo Oyoa. Leslie Paulina Portillo. Janet Abagail Guardado. Cass R. Miller. Mia Rose Jesse. Giovanna Ruby Martinez. Rocio Lisette Castro Hernandez. Bradford John Solomon. Brooke Peters. Adeline Ventura. Janae LaShawn Wilson. Irvin Hernandez. Edgar Omar Garcia. Javon Tillett. Jessica Moreno. Daisy Chavez. Andres Ernesto Hernandez Alger. Evelyn Astrid Lopez Winil. Jessica Elizabeth Chavez. Michelle Soto. Doreen Giovanna. Jasmine Fuentes. Nadia Lukianova. With a Bachelor of Arts in Music, Peter Renard Beltran. Ricardo Rey Alarcón. Isaac Beltran Cervantes. Jonathan Ruiz. Alexander Estrada. Cameron Scott Overstake. For the Bachelor of Music in Music, Angel Gabriel Cosillo. Maximino Isaias Juarez Guzman. Raquel Elizabeth Peña. Alexander Fukui Win. Melissa Van. Vivian Benadello. Anna Carmela Young. Adrian Verdusco. Eric Hernandez Picasso. Alana Miriam Shabaf. Oscar Mariano Duque Ramirez. With a Bachelor of Arts in Theater, Luis Felipe Garcia.
Sedona Viverito. Liana Shagrikian. Carmel Moore. Arturo Vega. Daniel Valladares. Gabriela Marie Mendoza. David Daniel Gallegos. Henrik Orlando Rivera. Casey Marie Cuellar. Darian James Etter. Angel D. Molina. Henry Cruz. Rosalie Phoenix Deer King. Lawrence Rivera. Manuel Aguilar. Selena Marie Nalua Garcia. Elisa Rufalo. Brian Taylor Ramos. Tiffany Quiroz. Fabio Moreno. Daviona Daniel Marie Barbosa. Janari Larey Rambo. Talin Marianito Pedregosa. With a Bachelor of Arts in Theater Arts and Dance, Julian Xiong. With a Bachelor of Arts in Television, Film, and Media Studies, Raimundo Acosta. Jaime Campos. Maya Isabel Nava. Sabrina Nicole Legard. Philip Sehum Yeon. Aliyah Nicole Ward. Nicole Flenoff. Sierra Savannah Ray. Matthew Adrian Campos. Kyle Daniel Villalobos. Christopher Liu Dao. Justin Snavely. Susana Renjitmo. Joseph Manuel Medell. Chatniel Coronado. Yuki Hatai. Gabriel Partida. Thelonious Washington. Parker David Green. James Alexander Rincon. Sebastian Velasquez. Catherine Starnes. Lauren Brittany Yamada. Jaime Campos. Leonardo Enrique Rivera. Michelle Hernandez. 
Samantha Elaine Campos. Jalen Guadalupe Dominguez. Christopher Baudelio Elizade III. Raquel Deniana Rivas. Zaira Michelle Sanchez Mia. Esteban Ruelas Aragón. Alejandro Tadeo Uribe. Sherelle Wilson. Tony Joaquin Perez. Blake Anthony Infusino. Matthew Alexandra Villarreal. Alexandra Nena Azique. Portia Elizabeth Emmanuel. Marta Elizabeth Nerio. Raven Wynn Brink. Jake Davidson. Katie M. Rivas. Jamichael Jackson. Andrea Q. Chia. Omar Israel Sandoval. Michael Anthony Sanchez. Maria Gabriela Castro Salgado. Michelle Jocelyn Arce. Aldair Emanuel Bardales. Rita Orozco Zarate. Lisa Renee Cabrera. Zoe Mara Little. Jonathan Peter Torres Acosta. Eric Alejandro Navarro. Nestor Cortez. Viviana Bautista Flores. Alexis Eduardo Ramirez Reyes. Ángeles Guadalupe Martinez. Jennifer Natalie Alfaro. Natalie Martin. Elicia Ann Barnes. Emma Rodriguez. Angel Michelle Barrios. Joshua Ronald Solis. Jade Lee Chauvin Blackman. Jacob Ryan Bradley. Kimberly Lisette Chavez. River Lynn Vargason. Logan James Bauer. Maya Morena Vidal. Yeva Musharbash. Yasmin Daniela Morillo. Jocelyn Perez. David Rodriguez. Ranferi Iglesias. Disha Vicaria. Natalia Marina Ramos. Jesse Tututi Perez. Jason Vasquez. Daichi Dean Zacane. 
Cynthia S. Contreras. Wendy Jasmine Reyes. Jacob Robert Poti. Jeremy James Goloran. Jessica Nicole Estrada. Jennifer Espana. And last but not least, Daisy Uribe. Congratulations to all the graduates. That was great. That was great. We missed a couple of key photos in the process, so we just have to do it all one more time. <laughs> That's what they told me. They said, no? Oh. Well, we're at another special part of today's commencement. Just before we confer all of your degrees, we are going to pay tribute and give a, an honorary doctoral degree to the legendary Dodgers broadcaster, Jaime Harim. And once again, I would like to welcome Cal State Board Chair Wen Fong to join me at the podium to confer this degree. Thank you, President Covino. And again, congratulations, class of 2022! <laughs> Next, it is my distinct honor to introduce to you our second recipient of the honorary doctorate degree to Mr. Jaime Harim. <laughs> Jaime Harim is the Spanish language announcer of the Los Angeles Dodgers. <laughs> <laughs> On KNTQ AM radio and an active member of the Latinx community in Southern California. <clears throat> Mr. Harim came to the United States from Ecuador in 1955 at the age of 20, having never seen a baseball game. Prior to that, he attended Central University of Quito, where he studied engineering, philosophy, journalism, and broadcasting. He moved to Los Angeles to pursue a career in broadcasting, and six months later, Mr. Harim was hired as a reporter for the Spanish station KWKW. Knowing nothing about baseball, he attended Dodger games and joined the station's Dodger broadcast team in 1959. Mr. Harim would recreate games in Spanish from sportscaster Vin Scully's calls until the radio station sent him on the road with the team. Mr. Harim also acted as Dodger pitcher Fernando Valenzuela's personal interpreter during press conferences and interviews in the early 1980s. Over his six-decade career, Mr. Harim has mentored generations of Latinos in media and advocated for Spanish-language broadcasters across Major League Baseball. Outside of the Dodgers, he has also covered the funeral for John F. Kennedy, the Watts Rebellion, the 1970 Chicano Moratorium, the 1984 Olympics, boxing matches, and visits by Latin American leaders, and Pope John Paul II to the United States. In this capacity, 
Mr. Harim has become a trusted source of information in the Latinx community. Moreover, he has created a space for future generations interested in pursuing a career in media. Mr. Harim also has actively shed light in challenging SOIL issues. For example, he visited, he invited the Dodgers to visit hundreds of migrant children who were temporarily sheltered at the Long Beach Convention Center. His intention was twofold to bring awareness to the players and to show migrant children that they are not alone during such trying and uncertain times. Mr. Harreen has received many awards and recognition for broadcasting and for his influence on the Latinx community. In recognition of his dedication to the Latinx community in Los Angeles and beyond, his engagement and service to the public good and his trailblazing career, the Board of Trustees for the California State University and the California State University Los Angeles are proud to confer upon Jaime Harim the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters. Please join me in welcoming Harim, Mr. Harim. All right, Jaime, here we go. We're going to make this official now, all right? By the authority vested in me, I confer upon Jaime Harim the honorary degree of Doctor of Humane Letters with all of the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. And now we're going to do this. Thank you. One of the advantages of being the last speaker is that everybody's getting tired. Everybody wants to go home. Everybody wants you to be very short. And I am going to be very short. First of all, let me say that me siento feliz. Me siento, me siento profundamente emocionado. Quiero agradecer a la universidad y al sistema de universidades por esta invitación para compartir con ustedes probablemente uno de los días más brillantes, más prometedores en su existencia. Gracias a la facultad y a los profesores y permítanme felicitarles y desearles un futuro lleno de felicidad, un futuro en verdad maravilloso. Y como paréntesis, permítanme también expresar mi más profunda condolencia a los deudos por las trágicas muertes en Texas. Esteemed members of the faculty, Dean Chao, Trustee Wenda Fong, members of the CSU Trust Board of Trustees, President of the Cal State LA Foundation, Omel Nieves, my friend, former CSU Vice Chancellor Larry Salinas, Cal State LA Provost and Executive Vice President Dr. Jose Gomez, graduates, families and friends, and honorary guests, muy buenos días a todos. I am so proud and happy to share this wonderful occasion with you, the graduates, and your lovely families and friends. You all honor me deeply, and I am humbled to be receiving this honorary degree from the California State University here in Los Angeles, as you yourselves receive your advanced degrees. 
Obviously, we share a strong belief in education, which is why we find ourselves together here today in this gorgeous and beautiful day. You guess, may, may, may I say, I am truly an example of Cise Puede. I came to this wonderful country from Quito, Ecuador in 1955. I had never seen a game of baseball in my life. When I was first offered the opportunity to join the Dodgers broadcasting team, I turned it down, thinking I didn't know enough to do a good job of bringing baseball, larger baseball, to the Spanish-speaking community, but my boss, at that time, Mr. William Beaton, felt otherwise. He gave me one year to learn the game and get comfortable relating the action on the field. He believed in me, and I did not want to disappoint him. Fast forward to July 26, 1998. On that day, I was inducted into the National Baseball Hall of Fame in Cooperstown, New York. I was the first living Latino going into the Hall of Fame. The same year, I was honored with a star in the Hollywood Walk of Fame in Hollywood. My first Golden Mike Award and I was the first Latino journalist to ever win one of the Radio and Television News Association, along with some of my scorebooks and other personal items, now reside in an exhibit at the Smithsonian Institute in Washington, D.C. <laughs> the success that I have enjoyed through the last 64 years, yes, 64 years, has been in part to never letting, letting fear of failure get in the way. Every failure, and there has been some along the way, has resulted in something learned. Remember, life isn't about waiting for the storm to pass. It is all about learning how to dance in the rain. Every day may not be good, but find something good in every day. I have been lucky, or I could not have gotten this far without the love and never-ending support of my loving wife, Blanca, and her encouragement over 65 years of marriage. <laughs> I stand here before you as the longest tenure sports broadcasting in Major League Baseball calling Dodger baseball for 64 years. But this is my final year. The time has come to let others who have worked as hard as I have to take a place in the sun. Blanca, my wife, passed away in 2019. My dear friend and colleague Vince Curley has retired. Some of my friends are gone but I am content to help my eldest son, Jorge, run the Jaime and Blanca Harim Foundation, which was established in memory of my wife, Blanca, to help students like yourselves attain educational goals, as you are doing today. In closing, let me leave you with a wish that your future goes the path of my signature home run call. La pelota se va, se va, se va, y despídala con un beso. The ball is going, 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 and say goodbye to it with a kiss. Thank you very much. I have enjoyed this morning tremendously. I appreciate everything you have done to me, and I just wanted to wish you the best of the best in the future. Vaya con Dios. Thank you very much.
Now, uh, yesterday at the end of the uh, processional, we had a surprise wedding proposal. And uh, so I just want to let you know, I'll give you a couple of minutes to think. Uh, <laughs> in case anybody wants to seize the moment. He did have a ring with him, though. Yes. Very nice ring. Okay, okay. Well, will the candidates for master's degrees from the College of Arts and Letters please rise for the conferral of your degrees? By the authority vested in me by the State of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the master's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Now, you be seated for a minute. We'll get back to you. I have another group to talk to here first. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees from the College of Arts and Letters please rise for the conferral of your degree? by the authority vested in me by the state of California and by the trustees of the California State University, I hereby confer upon you the bachelor's degree for which you qualify with all the rights, privileges, and honors pertaining thereto. Now you can move your tassel from the right to the left. Congratulations. All right, everybody up, everybody up, everybody up. Ladies and gentlemen, the class of 2022. Congratulations. We are almost there. So just before, no, yes. You're there. Okay, you're we're there. almost there, yes. <laughs> just have a few acknowledgements, okay? I hope you all notice what a beautiful venue we have today. And you know, it does take a village to set up something this beautiful and this nice. Nothing but the best for our graduates and their families and friends. So we'd like to thank the university staff, faculty, student, and volunteers who all helped to organize the 2022 commencement ceremony to acknowledge the members and honors of the commencement advisory committee. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. All righty. And we do have photo opportunities for you after the ceremony. So we invite you to take photos and celebrate with the faculty and your families and friends. Uh, with College of Arts and Letters, and you can meet them outside um, and gather in the space outside the pavilion at this time. And so, before we do that, we do have the university hymn that will be performed. So if you could kindly turn your attention to the screen.
is too much. Once again, congratulations to the historic class of, of 2022. Congratulations. <laughs> And congratulations to our honorary doctorates, Dr. Wong and Dr. Harin. So thank you so much. This was wonderful. Star power. All right. And this concludes our program. So our ceremony. Yes, you did it. <laughs> so if you could please follow the marshals, okay? They're going to direct you as you leave the pavilion and meet your guests, faculty, family, and friends. And I say party on. All right. Congratulations. All righty. Whoops.